If you want an alternative to a fathead pizza base, I have got an amazing recipe and it tastes just like a regular pizza base. Stay tuned. Hi, and welcome to Cook with Mel. If you're returning, welcome back. If you're new here, please do consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you know when we post a new recipe. According to lots and lots of reviews, this pizza base is way better than a fathead pizza base. This recipe is by dietchefs.com and you know they are so reliable with their recipes. So I was so keen to show it to you guys. You can make this pizza base in bulk and freeze and then just you know use as you need and I'll show you how quick this recipe is. If you don't want to make it in bulk it literally takes 10 minutes to make. So you can make this and eat it on the same day. Fresh pizza base. Yum. This is now our second non fathead pizza base we are providing you and it is as an introduction to all the toppings that we want to show you guys so do make sure that you've hit the notification bell so you receive all these beautiful looking toppings that we're going to present to you in future let's get into the recipe now I'm going to do this by hand today to show you how easy it is but you could totally use your mixing machine. Add 168 grams of almond flour or one and a half cups and it is best to use your scale and measure everything out. I've left it in the description box. 15 grams or two tablespoons of coconut flour. Two thirds of a scoop or 20 grams of whey protein powder. Half a teaspoon of xanthan gum half a teaspoon of baking powder, a pinch of garlic powder, a pinch of onion powder, and a pinch of salt. Whisk that all together until it's fully incorporated in all one color. Okay, and I'm gonna make a little well in the center. Drop in 14 grams of melted coconut oil, or it's uh, one tablespoon, and two eggs whisked. Now fully combine your dough until a ball forms. Use your hands if you need to. Once your dough has formed a ball, place it onto a sheet of parchment paper and we're going to roll this out now between two sheets of parchment paper. Roll it out to 14 inches or 35 centimeters in diameter if your pan can fit it. I reckon, well, I'm using a baking sheet, so I'm just gonna maneuver this and you know so that it fits my baking sheet. And now we're going to create a lip. So you're gonna fold your um, your dough in. This dough is quite sticky and when I was moving my parchment paper some of the dough came away and so all I did was I, I grabbed the broken off bits and I stuck it to um, the rest of the dough and I'm going to finish this off by carrying on creating a loop. There we go. If you use protein powder like I have, you're going to bake it for three minutes. And if you have left the protein powder out, you're going to bake it for five minutes. Other tip, if your um, baking sheet or you don't have a pizza tray is too small for this size uh, pizza, you can just use um, parchment paper and that's what I'm going to do. That was quick, right? So. At this point, I'll show you what the pizza looks like. It's not going to have any brownness on it because remember, you're still going to place your toppings on it and then it's going to go back in the oven until the cheese melts and that's when it's going to go brown. Look at this. This looks like regular pizza base. It's still a bit delicate because obviously it's not 
you know, fully cooked. But I'm just trying to show you guys. Ah, I can't wait to actually have this. It smells fantastic. Yes, it does. And, you know, you, you're now going to put all your, um, you know, your sauces, your cheese, your toppings on there. And it's going to go back in the oven until the cheese melts. And that's when you're going to get the brownness on the edges. That's an amazing pizza base. Do stay tuned because we are going to be providing you with some beautiful looking pizza toppings. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and be well. Thank you.